So it's day six of the hunt. And the bulls are getting more fired up. The problem is, is the wind has been horrible the last couple days, so. But we're on three or four different bulls right here. But the wind is just changing constantly, so we're afraid to go any further. I might just wait it out here for a minute and listen. Out of their sons and fools of themselves, they're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped and left there to rot. All the weeds that they grew are never end. Making dollars off our fate While your hands getting stained And transaction time Is all we got left So count your cards and hold your breath What a fool's state of mind But hey, it's a paycheck It's a paycheck God only
That moon is like a big old dot. Once you're rolling, you're gonna have to give us a thumbs up or something. <laughs> it's like damn near full. They're gonna be up all night tonight. I think a lot of them moved around and then around it. One of those growlers went down. He came back up just now. Did you hear him chuckle? He went, he was like, Really? Yeah. But he probably he was on his way up and I hear something and then right after that. I mean, he was like 150 yards, and I heard him go, whoop, that was him. No, there was another one down here. Did you hear this one bark? I figured that wind was just swirling. I figured when he barked, he smelled the bear come back up this way. Yeah, the bear was kind of on that ridge.
animals up on the mountain every couple days. And it seems like every day they're a little higher. So we snuck up really high today. And they're bugling all around us. We're just waiting for this sun to go down here in just 10 more minutes. And it should bring these thermals downhill. So once that happens, we're going to start calling and move in. And hopefully these bulls that have been screaming or mm. something we're looking at because it's so thick in here we haven't seen them yet.
right, so that is number three, uh, three of four. And as promised, uh, a lot of elk sort of at the end. I mean, we kept going up that mountain, um, really thick, thick timber mountain, uh, because the first night that we went up it, we heard this bull. We couldn't get him to come in, but we heard him, and he just had this deep, deep growl. And, you know, we just figured, my God, it's got to be a, a giant bull. And so we kept going up there, and every every night that we would go up there, I think it was three or four nights total, we could hear him. We could never get him to come into the call. And then um, that last night we were there, right at the end of the day, you saw the clip. I mean, it's it's like dark. But we finally got that bull to come in, and he he's like ten feet away from Chase, and he's a two eighty bull. So uh, it just goes to show you can never judge a bull by his by his bark. Um, and that one, yeah, for sure, not that one. Um, it was fun getting up on that mountain. Anyways, we saw a lot of elk up there. Just nothing that uh, that we wanted to shoot that Chase wanted to shoot. And so we'd come down every night and. Uh, the rut's just getting better. Tomorrow it's going to be awesome, and Chase is going to get an arrow and a bull. So come back tomorrow, check out uh, check out Chase's 2016 archery elk hunt, uh, the conclusion of it. And as always, thanks for watching. Uh, check the description below. See if your name's in there, because we've got another t-shirt winner, and we will get those out to you. Uh, should get all cut up on orders and back orders and free shirts and, and prize giveaways. Uh, should all go out today, hopefully tomorrow at the latest. And then uh, just FYI, on Friday, I think Friday, yeah, we are giving away, I'm going to be at Canyon Coolers. They're a local company here in Flagstaff to make a premium cooler. Uh, I'm going to be over there with Jason, the owner, and we are going to draw a winner out of the main prize giveaway, the big stuff, uh, for a 150-quart American-made premium cooler that's like the best cooler probably out there. As far as like if you have a long elk hunt, I've got a 10-day or a two-week elk hunt in Unit 10 this year in September. And so we're going to be out there for a long time. It's a long ways away from here. I'm going to be gone a long time. I want to keep ice cold for a long time, and this cooler is going to do it, and I can't wait. Um, so I'm going to be at Canyon Coolers on Friday. Make sure that you go to our website. The link is in the description. Get yourself registered for that giveaway. If you win the cooler, you're still in the giveaway to win the rifle. So you don't lose your spot just because you win something. You could, you could technically win all of the prizes. So make sure you get over there, get signed up, and we're giving stuff away. It's all starting this week, uh, starting Friday at Canyon Coolers. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.